They're the power that delivers the goods and the speed that pushes physics. They connect oceans and move men deep below the Earth's surface. They're crashed for safety and built to last. Powered by diesel, electricity, or steam. They come in all shapes and sizes. Some even ride on air. Now, the untold story of locomotives on Modern Marvels. If you want to ride one of these locomotives, you'll need to take an elevator to get to it, some 600 feet underground. 600 feet underground, inside the Bailey Mine in southwestern Pennsylvania. A fleet of some of the most unusual locomotives is busy ferrying miners and equipment through a labyrinth of tunnels that spans hundreds of miles. Miners have been pulling coal out of the mine since 1984, and some of the original locomotives are still in operation. The fleet is powered by three different sources, external electrical, battery, and diesel. The electric locomotives are attached to an overhead trolley line and to its obvious limitations. This is a very old battery trolley unit. It's powered, it gets all its power from the overhead trolley line. That technology has been used in the mines for decades. The problem with the older technology is he has to be underneath this to operate. When he goes away from a trolley line, he's dead. Another drawback to the outdated trolley line is the 300 volts hanging from above, just waiting to take a bite out of anyone who accidentally touches it. Power outages create yet another problem. If you have any power problems or anything drops out, then that, that piece of equipment uh, has no use. I mean, any power problem in the mine, or if you had to get out, you would have none. The mine's battery-powered locomotives eliminate the need for an overhead trolley line. But locomotive batteries don't keep going and going. You have to actually take it into a charging station and charge it. You're losing the use of your piece of equipment while you're actually uh, charging it. Everything considered, the power source that most miners prefer may surprise you, diesel. Diesel is much safer. Uh, you no longer have the hazards of any short circuits in your coal mine and the potential for mine fires. With diesel, you're totally in control. I expect to have Bailey Mine converted in entirely 100% to diesel because I do believe diesel is the future for track mounted equipment in the coal mine. Wondering how Bailey's miners coexist deep underground with a herd of diesel burning locomotives spewing out exhaust? Brookville Equipment Corporation in Brookville, Pennsylvania has been building underground diesel locomotives since 1980. And they have the answer to the diesel question. A lot needs to go into the safety and the health of the people working in that environment. This is a 170 horsepower diesel engine. It's MSHA approved for underground use. The engine manufacturer has to take it through a series of tests uh, where they measure the particulates and they give it a certification. Brookville has also installed a state-of-the-art filtering system, sure to keep miners breathing easy. To run the diesel engines underground in a coal mine, you have to have an additional exhaust treatment system. The exhaust comes out, goes through a catalyst, which breaks apart the diesel particulate matter. The exhaust gas comes up into this filter housing where a replaceable paper filter element is used to capture approximately 95% of the diesel soot that is emitted from the engine. And that's why we don't smell diesel engine in here, diesel fuel. You put it in the box that the new one comes in, and it's uh, acceptable in any landfill. For a typical Brookville diesel locomotive, nearly 2,000 parts are cut, drilled, forged, and assembled, while the diminutive frames get built separately. Engine sits in the front here, transmission in the center, you can see the two wheel wells, and these are, these are grids uh, for airflow and the operator compartment up front. These are 23-ton uh, locomotives. Down in the Bailey Mine, a Brookville diesel-powered personal carrier is filling up for the morning commute. 
You can see the men in here, they're getting ready for their shift to begin. You can see the operator station of this vehicle. Uh, he has uh, all the controls to tell him the full function of the engine, the brake and throttle. These guys got to go to work. So they can go 10 to 12 miles an hour on good track. It's a whole lot faster than walking. <laughs> every day, 80 different underground vehicles travel throughout the mine. And every day, at least one of them derails. Brookfield's got that covered, too. Now operators can get things back on track with the rail walker. The old way is using a hand jack or a railroad jack. Very labor intensive and relatively dangerous. The new way is hydraulically. So what we did, we hydraulically lifted the locomotive by putting a foot down on the ground, raising the locomotive, and moving it sideways, position it back over the rail. It's moving back into position, the wheels being lowered gently in a controlled manner back down on the rail. With innovations like the rail walker and the clean burning diesel engine, miners can move around safely and efficiently. Some six